What's up guys, Cole Erkin here, and welcome back to another episode of Cole and Jay. As you have seen recently on the channel, Jay, myself, and my grandma have been absolutely stacking up some crappie recently out here on the lake. And today, we are going to take a time out so we can show you how to fillet a crappie with an electric knife. It's a really, really quick and easy and effective way to clean through a bunch of crappie really, really fast. And once you get the hang of it and really get some practice at you can make some really beautiful fillets with an electric knife. Okay, here's the knife working with today. This is one of those little electric fishermen, Mr. Twister, green, yellow knives. You've probably seen them everywhere in any store, sporting goods store or Walmart. They're really cheap and they're really, really good. I mean, for the cheap electric knife, I would recommend this 10 out of 10 every day of the week. But anyways, now we got slabs. These are our slabs. Say hi to all the slabs. We got slabs in the bucket. And we are going to show you right now how to fillet these slab crappie. It's really easy. You ready for this, guys? Okay, so the first step, actually I'm gonna flip this over so we can see it's a little bit easier for you guys. Is that better? Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. So what you're gonna do, your first cut's gonna be right behind this pectoral fin. You're gonna cut halfway down to the main uh, vertebrae, the main spinal cord, whatever you want to call them, the bones in the middle that run later laterally across the length of this fish's body. Don't cut all the way through because it's going to be hard to fillet the fish afterwards. So here we go. See that? Just a light incision down to that main uh, backbone of that fish. And what we're going to do now, we're going to run our knife this way to the tail, but don't cut all the way down. Don't cut all the way through. Just cut all the way to the tail and stop. Just like this. All right, see how it stopped right there? It just makes it easier to get the meat off. Okay, flip it over. We've got all the meat off on this side, just about all of it. I'd say about 95 to 98%, which is good. Okay, and you're left with the filet and the ribs. So we're gonna cut the filet off the skin now. I like to have it all connected so you can grab a hold of everything and just, it's not everywhere, not going crazy. So here we go, taking the filet off of the skin. Look at there, there's the skin, here's the filet. Okay, so what we're left with now is where we have a filet, but we have the ribs in there, okay? So I see this far too often. People will just cut the ribs out, they'll just cut like this, and they'll waste all this meat over here and all the meat on the other side of the ribs. That's not what we're gonna do today. We're gonna get the ribs out and get all the meat on the other side of the ribs. And by doing this, the way we're gonna do this is we're going just to angle our knife and follow the ribs. They kind of have a curve to them. So follow the curve and then point your blade tips up so you can get the ribs out without cutting the meat off. I'll show you how to do that right here. You see that? We got all the ribs out and we have this whole entire filet. Boneless, big, this is gonna be nice and crunchy whenever we fry it up. Just a perfect filet. We're gonna put our filet in our bucket of filets here. We're doing good so far, filling up the bucket. And so I'm gonna flip this fish over, I'm gonna do it a little bit more of like real time, real speed for you guys. And I'm just gonna kinda of say what I'm doing out loud as I'm doing it, but we're gonna do it just a little bit faster, okay? So we flipped it over, get the knife behind the pectoral fin. Okay, cut down the length of the body. Bring it down here so I can get a good cut. Flip it over. Cut the fillet off. Get your fillet. Get the ribs out. Guts in the bucket. Big old, beautiful, perfect crappie fillet in the fillet bucket. It's really easy, see that? Like sometimes fillet knives, electric knives get a bad rip because people think that you're gonna be wasting a lot of the meat. But once you like learn the methods of how to get the fillet off and you get some practice at it, you can really make these really nice fillets without wasting any meat and really go through your whole batch of crappie like twice or three times as fast as you would with a regular um, hand fillet knife. Okay, so we, we just got done with that one fish. Now I'm gonna do one more just so we can all be really clear on how to fillet a crappie with an electric knife. I always feel like repetition is key to, you know, the success of learning how to do something. So we're gonna do this for you again. Just one more time. We're gonna flip the pectoral fin over. Run our, run our knife laterally down the backbone. Flip 
it over, get the skin off. And get the ribs out. Easy, right? Same deal on it. Alright guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed. I really hope that you found this information on how to fillet a crappie with an electric knife helpful and useful. Next time you go out and catch yourself a big old bucket or ice chest full of slabs, you'll be able to just rip through those crappie like nothing and have the fish fillets on the table in no time. I'm Cole Harkin and if you would like to see more of these videos, let us know in the comments below. And If you enjoyed it, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can get some more of these awesome fishing and fish cleaning videos. We'll see you next time, guys.